Hello and welcome back to the weekly vlog. I'm Joe, if you're new around here. Make sure you click that subscribe button for plenty of daily sports, retro gaming content. Go and subscribe over Captain Goodspeed Plays for Let's Plays New and Old. And uh, well, this is something that we started last week, but hopefully this time I'm actually recording the audio, audio properly on Audacity so it won't affect the quality of the video but last week I had some really kind words about the weekly vlog just me talking into the camera for 37 minutes or so but people seemed to really enjoy it which was great so we'll do that again today uh, a massive thank you for the support if you are new around here I know lots of you have come about since Cricket 22 has uh, arrived on the scene uh, my postman came in clutch on Wednesday and posted this through the door which was great to get a, a video out a day early is always a massive massive deal so thank you to Royal Mail and mainly thank you to the game collection for dispatching this a day earlier than they probably should have but you know uh, that's what we come to, to expect from the game collection you know which is awesome that's why I pre-order me games from there but uh, no it has been massive i've really enjoyed playing the game and i know lots and lots of people are getting involved down in the comment section are enjoying the career mode at the moment there will be an ashes series playthrough that will be happening sort of in live time with the real ashes series that's my plan with it so the first test will be up when uh, england start playing australia next week and i'll try and keep the team selection as close to real life as possible so that we can get a, a an idea of, of how it's going and, and maybe i can talk about what's happening in the ashes during those videos so i think that'll be quite fun to have a sort of live action ashes series going alongside um the the real life uh, event but uh hopefully you're all good hopefully you've had a good week unfortunately i'm i feel like i'm coming down with this lurgy that everybody's had um you know over the last 18 months luckily i've, I've not really had any illnesses been very very cautious around the whole covid situation touch wood still haven't had the virus uh and pretty much because of all of the the hygiene improvements so distancing from people that sort of thing um and and making sure we're, we're washing my hands very regularly we haven't really picked up any other bugs but uh, unfortunately that uh, my partner has picked up the lurgy uh, last week and and she's ha had no voice for a week and, and unfortunately it's starting to hit me so Maybe this will be the last you ever see of me with this voice. Who knows? Because her voice hasn't come back yet. But uh, fingers crossed, you know, I've had plenty of hot drinks and, and strepsils and that sort of thing. So hopefully uh, I can fend it off. But uh, the plan for today is just to really ramble at you again. Uh, show you some of the things I packed up, picked up last week uh, in terms of the Black Friday deals on uh, collectibles that sort of thing um so plenty more pop finals that'll be the last one for a little while uh, and talk to you about a certain package that has arrived from uh, big ant or, or at least dead good media in the uk uh, a cricket 22 review or content creator pack if you like which i got one last time for cricket 19 and that was an absolutely awesome uh, package that they put together i have had a sneak peek just to check that you know I, I wanted to show everything on video and honestly i am blown away so a massive thank you to, to dig dead good media for sending that along absolutely awesome and uh with it came a, a review code for cricket 22 um on well not unfortunately fortunately my boxed version which i always buy the boxed version anyway because of that thing behind me all of that collection gotta have the box copy so um that came the day before i got the review code so i don't need that review code now so i'm gonna give it away to somebody out there a ps5 copy of the game so uh, i'll look out for details on that in p potentially uh, the first ashes video next week i think that would be a good time to give away the game so make sure that you keep an eye out for that if you're interested it'll be on ps5 maybe even playstation 4 as well i don't know if 
the digital copies are, are, are interchangeable or not. But let's get into this review pack because I, I assume that's why quite a few people are here. So uh, you can see this wonderful sort of like tennis shoe bag, I suppose, but uh, you, you would... I guess put your, your cricket uh, gear in here. It's got Cricket 22 on the front, official game of the Ashes series. And inside of it, you, you can probably just about see... Um, well, you can't see it because it's down on the floor, but I will show you uh, what I got last time from Big Ant. Uh, I will also make a link to the video of the stuff that I got. So uh, we got another miniature cricket bat, which has Cricket 22 on it. That will go proudly on display with this cricket bat, which is what I got last time um, from Big Ant. Uh, and this was uh, an actual We Are England Cricket uh, mini bat, so that's going to be cool. I've just noticed that they're slightly different in size. Uh, I don't know if I've shrunk in the last couple of years, uh, <laughs> but uh, there you go. That's really cool to have some Cricket 22 merchandise that nobody else in the world will have, well, other than a select few creators, I suppose. But uh, that's the sort of thing I really, really enjoy. I'll just go and grab something else from last time. And also last time I picked up or was given this uh, Jukes ball. I think it's Jukes. Anyway, it might be Kookaburra. But uh, this was uh, a grade A super test uh, Coke ball from Big Ant. This was a really cool gift. And uh, to go along with that, I also have the Cricket 22 version, which of course has Cricket 22 on it. Uh, I'd show it that way. Weirdly, when I was looking at it, uh, it was the right way around, but I'll try and have that focus in. Will it focus? I, I'm sure it did focus before. No, maybe not. But uh, it does say just Cricket 22, official game of the Ashes, so I'm really, really thankful for getting those two items once again, just to add to the, the collection of stuff in here. But this is an absolutely awesome present that is about to, to hit us. I'm just checking there's absolutely nothing else in here before I pass off that this is uh, this is everything. But I think it is, other than the bag, of course. Um, some tissue paper. I have already opened it just to check what it actually was. And yeah, I wish I'd got my reaction to that on video. But uh, it's from Lords, the home of cricket. You can see on the tissue paper, I wonder if I can zoom that in a little bit. Uh, can you see it? Not really. I'll try and get a, a, a photo of it and insert it into the video here. Or you can have a go at editing Joe because he will forget. He promises you that. But uh, anyway, all that's on the tissue paper is that there. Lords, the home of cricket. And it's in a lovely little box. And I have no idea how much these things are. But have a look at how awesome this is so just to give you a little idea of what it might be got a little certificate of authentication but there it is a replica of the urn itself now that is the best thing that i've ever received from a developer now i've not received much don't get me wrong, but that is really cool. And and that will be proudly on display behind me at some point. Uh, probably near the uh, the Cricket World Cup stuff on the left over there. Uh, we'll, we'll try and display it. But that is truly, truly awesome. So I, I can't say thank you enough, really, for it. Uh, it, is, it is brilliant and, you know, it's wonderful to be in a position that the developers feel like they, they want to send you this sort of stuff. And, you know, of course, I've covered a lot of the, the cricket stuff over the years. But, uh, yeah, I was honestly blown away by uh, a replica of the, the urn. I have no idea. It might be a two ninety nine gift. Go and buy the box and the tissue paper and, and stuff like that. I very much doubt it. But, uh, yeah, it was it was really, really nice to, to get that uh, sent over. And yeah, I can't, I can't say thank you enough. 
for that. Uh, now, what I do have last week, uh, something very special came in the post, so a little bit of an, uh, uh, a nod towards my music tastes. <laughs> um, and uh, if, you, if you've been around on the channel a long time, you'll probably know that I am a massive fan of this guy, Mr. Gary Barlow, and he has released uh, a new Christmas album. So, of course, like any crazy fan like me, I'm going to see him next week. Uh, I ordered the signed deluxe edition, which I think was about 15, 16 quid, something like that. Came with uh, a cassette as well, which obviously I, I don't have a, a cassette player, but it's quite cool anyway for the collection. And uh, it comes with a, a little Gary Barlow signed card, so you can see that. Um, but yeah, a little a little nod towards my music taste there. I know f a few of you will enjoy that and enjoy ripping me to shreds in the comment section, which I have no idea why you would ever do that, because Gary Barlow's brilliant, and I won't have anybody tell me otherwise. But that is the Cricket 22 review kit and uh, i'm just honestly blown away by uh what, what i've got and, and that is well up my street well up my collector's appetite uh obviously last time i got a load of australian treats which really enjoyed i've still got the uh bottle of wine i'm keeping that for an incredibly special occasion whenever that may come uh, i've also got the the bottle of cider that i got as well i've just not wanted to to drink it so um that's that's still there part of the collection which is wonderful uh but anyway let's show you some of the funko pops that i picked up last weekend in some of the black friday deals the first one that i got was a mandalorian set star wars mandalorian so you can see uh you've got grogu the mandalorian a moff gideon and uh, an incinerator stormtrooper on there this was from tesco it might still be from uh, might still have this deal it was usually 40 pound which is what you'd expect for four pops down to 20 pound with a club card so get yourself to tesco see if that deal is still on i think that's quite a nice little set that will go nicely up with my star wars collection at some point once i've had a little sort out uh, i've also bought from uh, game you can still see the stickers on it paloma from the most recent bond film no time to die i honestly thought paloma was one of my highlights of the film absolutely brilliant performance and uh, really really enjoyed that segment of the film in cuba and uh, i also with that in mind picked up nomi from uh, game these were both from game both 9.99 uh, and Nomi is the, the new 007. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, make sure you go and check out No Time to Die if you haven't already. It's uh, on Amazon Prime, I believe, for £15 of rent, or it is coming out on the 21st of December on uh, DVD, 4K, Blu ray, all of that good stuff. Uh, I also managed to pick up this, which I, I think is awesome. You know. I, uh, I'm a massive fan of Toy Story, and in particular, I'm a massive fan of the character Rex, which, you know, I think quite a few people are. You know, uh, he's a gamer, just like me, and uh, yeah, I, I go into the, well, I think it was The Entertainer, which is a great pop uh, shop, by the way. I see this guy, Rex, with his uh, video game controller uh he's got his buzz lightyear helmet on all of that it's from toy story 2 i believe and uh yeah i just had to pick it up that will go very very proudly in the toy story collection i do keep them boxed the toy story ones but that is an absolutely awesome pop that i'm really thrilled that, that i've managed to pick up uh what else did i manage to get oh yeah because uh the entertainer had uh, 20 I think it was 20% off if you spent £30 and uh, Rex was 29 99 so I had to pick up this guy this little Jawa for 50p he's a what is he a, a sum sum no idea but uh, 50p to take us over the £30 threshold so the entertainer actually paid me to take that off their hands uh, I also picked, went to CEX and picked up a uh, uh, an absolute classic actually table tennis uh, the rock star made game uh, no idea why they ever thought that it would be 
wise to to make a table tennis game. Uh, apparently, it's absolutely terrible. Um, but I mean, it said IGN IGN's review. I don't know if you can read it at the top there, but closer to replicating the feel of the real life sport than maybe any sports game in history. So we will check this out on the Retro Show at some point. That is that is going to be a fun one. Uh, I am a fan of table tennis, certainly not to watch, but to play, I do enjoy it, which uh, sounds like any, any casual snooker fan, basically. Uh, and also with Rex in mind, Forbidden Planet managed to, to pick up a, a Rex mug uh, and that... Uh, it says on the back, uh, you've just got to believe in yourself. So there you go. That was from a Forbidden Planet. Uh, another cool little gift. As I say, my favourite character from Toy Story. So that's where why that came, came in. Uh, the other thing that I bought, this was from the Manchester Christmas Markets. There's a guy that's selling little signs in there. And I picked up this sign. Do or do not. There is no try from uh, Master Yoda, of course. And uh, I'm thinking about putting that on my classroom desk at some point. Uh, although that does give the kids the excuse to just do not. Um, do or do not, there is no try. So when I say try your best, they'll just go, eh, do or do not, there is no try. And I, I would love them for it. Uh, but there you go. That Those were my purchases uh last weekend when we went over to the the christmas markets and uh actually bought a christmas tree and all of that sort of stuff so that was last week and and that was awesome and and some really good stuff that i managed to pick up there which i'm really really happy about so yeah that's uh where we currently are obviously i've said i'm feeling a little bit under the weather but uh what did fill me with some joy this week, as that's two and a half weeks until we break up for Christmas. So two more full weeks of teaching. Um, we actually do have a half day on the 22nd. So it'll be it'll be quite nice to, to have a bit of an extended break over Christmas. And uh, we'll, we'll certainly have some, some really good plans in there for around that time. There'll be lots of content out on the channel. And uh, this year, I'm not actually going to set myself any goals. It's something that I've sort of realised the hard way over the last couple of years, is that if you set yourself goals, you do just eventually fail. And uh, it becomes quite sad, really. And, and you can beat yourself up about it. Why are you not hitting that goal, that sort of thing. So I've decided I'm not going to set any goals. I'm not even going to review me goals from last year. We will, of course, have our yearly analytics review where we have a full transparent look at uh, the channel's performance over the last year, which I think will be a massive step down uh, compared to previous years. But we'll see. We'll see. And uh, hopefully, you know, going into the new year, we've got... Cricket 22 still going. Uh, Rugby 22 will be coming out in January. I'm, I'm going to give that a go. As always, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be a Snooker 22 at some point, but uh, it's looking less and less likely. But I am enjoying playing Snooker 19 again. Had a couple of days off it while I've been focusing on Cricket 22, but we will be uh, going back to that at some point. And Football Manager 2022 still really enjoying that and hopefully you guys are enjoying watching it but that is pretty much everything that i wanted to talk about this week it was mostly about uh, the review kit and the the collectibles that i picked up last week uh, you can see i'm sat in my new gaming chair that i picked up in um in well last last black friday and uh, it's been great and and hopefully will improve my posture tenfold that's that's uh, the plan anyway but uh, that is pretty much everything i've got to talk about i've enjoyed watching the the uk championship snooker um a bit of a shame that hazel's not been there and jv of course uh, i think bbc does feel like a poorer product without that and alan mcmanus has uh, peed off to eurosport which i'm not sure why he's done that but he has i i assume he, he can go to more tournaments and really do what he wants to do and and that's fair enough and that massively improves Eurosports coverage 
But, uh, you know, the, we've still got the classics on the BBC. But, uh, yeah, that'll be fun over the weekend. Of course, the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix as well. Lewis Hamilton, if he wins uh, this Grand Prix, it's going to go down to the wire. Uh, or maybe even the last corner. Who knows? But uh, this World Championship in F1 has been unbelievable. And I'm sure myself and Toby will get together and, and do a full season debrief in the coming weeks and, and talk about all, what we've enjoyed this year and give it a full-on review. I'd, I'd love to get back into the podcast and do it a little bit more regularly, the Joe and Toby talk stuff, because uh, the, the videos we've done have done really, really well. I think we've had nearly 15,000 views on uh, our Snooker World Championship preview, so, you know, it's absolutely crazy. There is some uh, legs with that idea, so... You know, if we can get back into that, that would be absolutely fantastic. But uh, no, that is where we're going to leave it for this week. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I hope you enjoy the, the week coming and I'll see you next week as long as I'm not on Death's Door for the next one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>